Hey, I'm Jeremy. I'm Andy. We're from the Devil Wears Prada. And you're watching Ambi. Hey everybody, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Andy and Jeremy from the Devil Wears Prada. Hello. Hi. Hello again. How are you both doing? Ah, wonderful. Yeah, doing great this morning. We were touring with Killswitch and Anthrax. It is an amazing lineup. So how have things been going down? Awesome. It's been really awesome. Uh, it's just, you know, we, we love being a part of that metal world and 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 kind of forced ourselves in a long time ago i guess and they didn't kick us out yet so we like it <laughs> yeah, no it's been great every day yeah definitely jeremy you posted a photograph saying how to keep yourselves entertained it's been a mix of hockey beer petty and primus uh yeah that's pretty accurate <laughs> <laughs> yeah we uh so our singer is a huge don't hate us uh penguins fan uh he would be mad if I apologize for even saying that. But, yeah, yeah. he's a huge Penguins fan. Um, I pull for the Blackhawks here in Chicago. He's kind of neutral on it. But I we like pretty games. much have hockey on permanently in the bus. So I feel like we get a Canadian pass for the day or something, <laughs> you know. <Yeah. laughs> How did you keep yourselves entertained driving into Toronto? Uh, <laughs> copious amounts of beer, pretty much. Just you know, All the border guys were really cool, so yeah. it was fine. And um, I crashed early, so. Yeah, we were in Buffalo, <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, yesterday for a day off, so just hung out there and mm -hmm. crossed over last night, so, yeah. Well, you played this beautiful gothic, it almost looks like a church, but it was a venue the other yeah, day yeah, in yeah. Kansas, and it just looked absolutely stunning. Is that one of the cooler places that you've played, or is the band taking you to some more bizarre venues? Yeah, that was really cool. Um, I always like those old theaters that they can convert for new shows mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's kind of wacky because there's not as much of like a mosh pit thing and <clears throat> sorry again that's not really what we're used to but it's it's just like how many times can you be in those environments in your life you know yeah. all, all across the world I guess I'm trying to think of more unique ones um, we did play here I think it was here in Toronto was an old church that they converted oh, yeah. into a venue that was a few was years called. ago it's in the suburbs somewhere though okay. it's like across some river I forget where it is but it's cool it's always fun to play something different like that for sure and there's now a new book it's a photography book for transit blues and it's yeah. really cool because it, I've just been looking at the video that you're sharing and you know on YouTube you're like skimming through yeah it, yeah the quick flip it. Exactly. yeah <laughs> you're like pausing and everything yeah. I haven't been able to have a close look yet so it's, what's it comprised of it's very cool um so we have a, a buddy we kind of just form these relationships with people and keep working with them. Um, this guy is someone that went to Mike's church back home in Chicago. Now he lives in Denver, but his name's Anthony. He's a really good photographer, just a general mm -hmm. normal portraits and wedding and everything like that. And so we brought him out a few records to go to shoot some stuff and he killed it. So uh, this, him and Mike and our buddy Mike have put together, it's this uh, photography book, just kind of showing what the writing process was like for us. We lived in a couple of different like Airbnbs and just together. cooked together. Mm -hmm. It was super hippie and cool. I yeah, guess, so. he definitely uses a uh, like weird angles and lighting structure that conveys the entire feel of being there and just like yeah. sometimes the drain, sometimes the fun of like cooking together or. I like that too, the blend of communal and isolation, because that's kind of like making a record for us at this point, is a lot of communal stuff and a lot of isolation on your own, kind of just thinking of stuff, so yeah, that's cool. I'm mm -hmm. sure that a bit of reminiscing goes down when you do flip through the book. Oh, Are there yeah. any photographs that stick out to you the most? Uh, there's one of him and Kyle, they saved this baby squirrel that had like fallen out of a tree, okay. Yeah, and it was like crying, and they... We put it, it in one of our row cases and, and nursed yeah, it back to health. Like mixed up some milk mixture for <laughs> oh, it. That's and, uh, so sweet. Kept yeah. it warm with like heated water bottles over the night until we could take it to a sanctuary. So That's nice. There's one that he had gotten of my notes that I had made when I was redoing my pedal board, which I'm like, I didn't think I was smart enough to write notes out. Okay, that's cool. So that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, aside from that being a very cool piece of merch, you have so many unique things in your store. You have air fresheners, guitar picks, jerseys, denim <laughs> jackets. Is there anything that you'd love to venture into merch-wise that you've got to? Oh, man, Mike always has ideas. Those are pr pretty much all those are his ideas, and he he's very active on the merch. Um, he's pretty much the one from the band that controls all that stuff. So he's... He's always trying to do more like cut and sew items and stuff. We probably would have done it on this, but we're just a little limited opening up. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, there'll probably be some weird, weird, funky stuff on there. So. Yeah, I was trying to think <laughs> of something new. So, is there anything floating around now, or something specifically you'd want to see? 
Um, I, don't, I like those denim jackets that we did, and uh, I have a bunch of buddies that keep hitting me up about them, so it'd be cool to see, <laughs> to do, like, another kind of, ja- I always think the jackets are cool, just because. Okay. It'd be cool to do another batch of shoes as well. We, were, we worked with the Vans years and years ago. Yep. Yeah, that would be People some, are still so. posting their kicks, too. Yeah, like, I know. Still, <laughs> they, they look a little rough a few years later, but His they. His <laughs> dad still wears them to every show he comes really? out to. Oh, yeah, it's cool. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Well, the record itself, Transit Blues, is about the ups and downs of tour, tour life. Uh, is there anywhere that you visit, though, on the road where you don't feel those transit blues, aside from home? Toronto feels a lot like Chicago, so it kind of feels like just another neighborhood in Chicago to me a little bit. Yeah, I'd agree with that. The only thing weird about this is going through customs to get here. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I agree. There's a... I don't know about anything else that's very Chicago-esque. I mean, back home in Chicago, where or in Dayton, Ohio, where we grew up, in Columbus, the surrounding area, that feels like home still. So that's about it. We're kind of like, it's funny because um, that is the content of it, and that's a very real struggle, especially like overseas and stuff. But we've just become such a like group of friends at this <clears throat> point that most of the time it just feels like we're kind of just hanging out, you know, and then go play a show. and and then just come back to hanging out. So it's a, it's, we're probably in the best spirits we've been in in a long time, I'd say, for whatever reason. Definitely. Well, it's great they've been actually able to form that family bond. And then last time we were also kind of talking about the dogs, having them on Oh yeah, here. she's back here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, we, there, we were like, to the border guys, like, is, uh, we have a dog on there, is that okay? He's like, is she mean? We're like, oh, just bring her in. She's a little tiny 12 pounder. She's, she's still trying out. to bark at him. <laughs> I just want to do a little quick fire round with you, or you just say whatever comes to mind first. Cool. All right, first one. What's the wallpaper on your phone? Um, it's a little uh, old Shiba Inu dog with its master, like from back in the day, because I have one. Speaking of dogs, mine is Obama riding a stallion, <laughs> and I miss him very much. Miss you, miss you, Barry. There we go. The next one. What's the worst job you've had? I was a dishwasher for like a few months. Uh, yeah, I was a bagger at a local grocery store. What's your favorite thing to eat on tour? Mm, maybe like, I don't know, burrito or something. Thai food, probably. And which artist would you love to see cover one of your songs? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a deep cut. Uh, I, I'd be floored if someone like Depeche Mode did like a remix or something and took like two of the stems and did their own thing with it. So. Yeah, no one I like would <laughs> want to cover us. So. <laughs> We have higher standards for what we like than what we are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap things up. Any parting words for all of your fans who will be viewing? Uh, just thanks for you know sticking by us and giving us the freedom to do weird stuff and keep trying new things. We're going to keep doing that and um, keep trying to put on the best live show we can. I think that's, that's our main goal um, is be as creative as we can in the studio and then get it across really cool live so we're just gonna we keep trying to get tighter and tighter and tighter him and i go out to our other guitar player's house before tour try and tighten everything up so Mm -hmm. just try and put on the best show we can so thank you for caring that's awesome we're excited about the show tonight and all the weird stuff that's to come yeah it should be weird (laughs) thank you yeah thank you it's my pleasure and remember to everybody viewing you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews features videos and so much more see you next time